Yay, stampers, gain again. And I've got a bit of a card with a difference today. Uh, it's an, another Christmas card, but this one opens two ways. Uh, it opens this way to reveal uh, a picture. And it also opens this way to reveal another segment of the picture. I just thought I'd done this in an album that I followed off the beautiful um, Scrap Queen. No measurements, uh, she just showed you the idea of how to do it. But I thought, why not turn it into a card? You could always got space on the back to write your message. And the recipient will think, oh, how does this open? So they'll look one way and they'll look the other. You could easily put a little token in there and write something. Um, but I just think it's so cute. Absolutely adorable. It stands up all right normally. <laughs> you could you could even have sealed this end and this end. Um, so it would have just stood up like a normal card. But then and then it would have only opened that way then. But I like the idea of it. I was going to do layers, hence the reason there's a little bit of a gap down one side. But then I thought, no, it's going to be too, too bulky otherwise. But it just fits inside a normal size envelope as well. There's just six by four. And I thought, why not? I, you could even leave these spaces blank for them and add some fo holiday photos. And maybe in there as well. But... I took a 12 by 12 sheet because this, when it opens, is near enough 12 inches. Or I took these sections down to two and these are three, two and mm. <laughs> they are three by four. So this was three and three quarters by two and seven eighths. A little bit of a, not too much of a gap, but you don't want to go over your crease lines, but obviously you want it to fold. But this is two sections of an a, uh, of a 12 by 12, and I wanted to see the picture, so I cut it into sections and glued it in the right way, obviously. And the same again this way. I just think it's adorable. And you could even sit this up on a mantelpiece like that, so the recipient can see it all day long. And then take whatever view they want and uh, maybe stand it up that way as well. So it's entirely up to you, but I think it's, and you could have plenty of space to write on the back, but I think it's adorable. So I thought, let's show them how to make it. It's so easy, it's unreal. You'd be like, I can't do that. Yes, you can. It is the easiest card in the world to make. Love it. So it does take a fair bit of paper. I've got my two strips ready, but I'm going to do exactly the same. So these measure, well, I just did say it, didn't I? Uh, three and three quarters by 12. We're going to cut them down as we go. Just going to need those. I've got a little bit of scrap. Maybe I won't use that bit. I'll use that for something else. But I've got enough here to cut out. If you notice, it's two lots of different glitter card. So I can get my little reindeer and trees. These are from the Still Scenes uh, stamp set. They're the little cutouts that come with those. And this is just my big, huge, chunky Merry Christmas, which is the wrong way around. But I layer it on a piece of card. And I'll cut that out. And I added a shim as well. So you've got all you've got to do is make sure that the lines are straight. Because otherwise you Merry Christmas will be on the wonk. You could even cut it out that way. It's entirely up to you, but I could get two out of that. Hence the reason I've left the card as it is. You could get probably get two. But I've got to cut them out later. I might even take that down to three. If it's wide enough, and then I can get my little machine out in front of you. Not quite. It goes over, look. So I'll have to do it on the big one. But I'll get the little one out for those. <clears throat> I thought, what an adorable card. It worked lovely on my, on my album. Um, so but instead of these pictures, you could just, like I say, add normal pictures. And that was a lot bigger on the album. 
I think mine was uh, a whole page like that, about that long. And then when it flipped it open, you had space for four by four photos and four of them. And then same on the other side. So I thought, why not turn it into a card? It's brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. And like I say, if you wanted not to have a, a decoration on the back, you could omit that by gluing those two sections down there. And then just having your card open this way. And then it would stand. Well, it stands anyway, but I love it. And it fits in an envelope. How great is that? So, I've got my DSP. You will need two pieces of card that are cut at 6 by 4 And you will need two cards that are... I cut these together so I know they're exactly the same size. And these are 7 by 4 so you don't need to do anything to those, you just simply need to pop this in your scoreboard, you score at half an inch and three and a half, and if I opened it out we'd do it at uh, six and a half, but I just flip it round and score it at half an inch, and you're going to do that exactly the same thing on this one too. So half an inch, three and a half round half an inch that is it this is the most simplest card but looks complicated that you'll ever ever make so you just need your bone folder you're just gonna burnish those and then this one will come back making sure your papers are the same distance burnish that and then just pull this one back and burnish that and then do exactly the same so it looks like this and do exactly the same on this one when you bend this back just make sure that they line up I mean you could cut these a fraction smaller you could have done them at three and seven eighths by six and seven eighths and just done exactly the same but you wouldn't have been able to find this halfway score line so that's why I've kept them like that so you're going to take one of your cards and these now are just going to get glued right on there so they are bang in the middle this one goes right on there and that is bang in the middle so if you pick that up and you only glue the little strips just make sure they're not overlapping perfect and then what you do then again you glue the strips and you add the top piece simple as that have you ever seen anything more simple but looks so amazing Absolutely fabulous. So let's get some glue out. And like I said, just do one side at a time. And plenty on just to make sure it doesn't come undone because of the way it opens. And what I like to do is stand this up. Making sure that it's not overlapping and that it's both sides are equal and push down. So that is good. You can't see any of the back card. Tiny little fraction, but I'm not bothered about that. And then you do exactly the same with the other one. So with this one, I'm just going to butt this right up close and making sure I've not gone over and that they're all level, both sides, perfect. Give them a burnish Let me just show you in the envelope, it's not that bulky if I'd have added layers, then maybe it would have been. But 
it will fit in an envelope perfectly. Look, love it. Better not seal it either. <laughs> but yeah, fits in there. Loads of space. You've still got a quarter of an inch there as well. So that's glued on. And now all we need to do is add glue. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, tape as well and glue. That way I've got wiggle space. I'm only doing it on this side because I want, like I say, I want to be able to guide it into place. You don't have to. Extra security as well, so. Yeah, the way this the lovely Diane did it is she scored, held a piece of card, uh, notched it, scored it, folded it, notched it. I thought, oh, I can't do with all that. <laughs> so, peel back the backings. Perfect. And then just give them some glue. Just line your other piece right in the corner, just that corner, just that corner, just making sure, now I've got that wiggle space, I can push them together and making sure that they are all in place. Whoops, <laughs> I'm pushing too hard, so I'll give that a burnish. There we go, there's that mechanism. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. Let's give that a rub. How easy and simple is that? So it holds together, holds that way, opens that way, and it also opens that way. Isn't that brilliant? Love it! But like I say, if you don't want the back um, decorated, simply glue that piece down and that piece down. And your card will still open like so. I love it. I just love it, love it, love it. So, this is my top piece. I cut this at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. And I'm going to glue that on top. I mean, we were always looking for unusual types of folds and fun fold cards. and So I'm calling this the cube card. Because it's got a cube in the centre. There may be other names for it, I don't know, but that's what I'm calling it. It's not my design. It's all been done before. There we go, there's my piece of designer says paper on there. So that's definitely got to be my top now. So what I did then, just take, you can have whichever scene you want. You don't have to even do, you don't even have to have, you know, you could uh, just add any bits of designer series paper. I just wanted to see the picture, you know, for when they open it up. So I just want them to see that. So on these ones, I'm going to cut these at um, two and three quarter, not two and seven eighths, because because of the. I want to see the little gap now. So that's the bottom piece, and just lay them where the pictures would be. Quarter. Perfect. And you can then see that graduation. I think it's great. And two and three quarter. And two and three quarter. And that's the only bit you're going to lose on these two strips. 
So I'm going to glue those in and then we'll do the next one. I mean, if you, we've all got 12 by 12 papers that might have a scene on like this and you just hate cutting into it because you, you know it's not all going to fit. Well, on this card, it will. So give yourself a nice little border all the way around on your first piece. That goes off quick. And then you can follow the line down then. I love the deers in that one. So keep your distance about exactly the same. I mean, you, like I say, these are like, well, they're bits, they are four by three, believe it or not. So you could, like, say, two and three, two and three, two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, if you don't want hardly any borders. But then that'll take you right up to your score lines. This way, with just a little fraction less, you can see the borders. even and look at that isn't that gorgeous I love it and we're all into our usual cut cards I know it's an extra couple of uh, it's like two cards in one keep that level perfect there, so there's that one side done and then we're going to flip it over ready for our picture on this side so I'm just going to bob that there I'll do the two and seven eighths on this one just to show you but it literally does take you up to the score line you know you've got a little gap then I don't mind seeing those So, your picture then is continuous. I love it. I think it's just brilliant. That piece all that goes there. I love the moon. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. Oh, that was a bit short. And you're going to get that much waste on this one. So again, as you can see, going to follow that beautiful picture all the way down to the bottom. I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And like I say, you can add a piece of Whisper White with a sentiment inside. I think the top of the card itself says it all. And those wonderful pictures. Plenty. So again, line this up. Even Stevens either side. Oops. And you, this will work with any size card, any size. As long as each piece is exactly the same size with the second lot of cards, just having that one extra inch for the half an inch score line, you could do these square oblong you can do them well album style you know six by fours each section you know you could do 12 by 12 uh, eight by eight by 12 is it no 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 uh, eight by six is it I don't know. Well, we've just done six by four, so if you wanted these then to be all by six by four, you'd have to have 12 by eight, yeah. But you can make them as big, small as you want. Just give yourself half an inch for the other, for the inner pieces. 
and you could easily turn this into a 7x5. Because some people like bigger cards. There we go, that is fitted. Oops, does that look a little bit off? That's it. Yay, great. <laughs> great save. Look at that. So, it basically is the cube card because it sits that way. Absolutely lovely. And that way as well. Hence the reason for its name. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. So, it's just a matter now of decorating the front. There we go. Oh, love it. And you've got plenty of space. You could add a little frame on the back now if you wanted to with some designer series paper behind. Just leave a space to write on. It's entirely up to you. I'm loving the purple because it goes with this. I just think that's adorable. So give me two seconds. I'll cut those out in a minute. Let me just pop this through uh, the big machine. I've got to make sure those letters are lined up. Otherwise, it, when it comes out, it'll cut on the wonk. Two minutes, RB. I've got a paper shim between the two. I'll just go back and forth a couple of times. Chop that off. Well, I probably won't have enough for another one, but I won't use. I won't waste that card. Definitely not. So I can use that on another project. <laughs> I've got no nails to pick things up. Now that it's all cut through, just a matter of removing pieces. I prefer to do it like this because you could pull at one point and it could break something else. So, because these go all the way round, Oh, see, I've just ripped the B off. Oh, don't worry, I'll glue that into place. See, pulling on it, Gainer. Don't know your own strength. Ah, that bit, that bit there was keeping it off. I believe I've just done that. See, this is all intertwined. So, I just don't want to pull anything else else off now. Just goes right on there. No, it goes like that, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the way it goes. Just on there, that. that. So let's get rid of those bits. Oh, disaster! <laughs> but no one will know once it's on the card. We'll rectify that now. So 
be careful to make sure you've got the card the right way. Just get glued on there. I'll stick all this down first and as I do it's dot glue all the way around the outside and anything that's dangling in the middle. So like the horns are coming. Any loose bits. Deep thought now, getting this concentrating. <laughs> only just fits across just get myself a bone folder smush all that down get my little R now got glitter on the end of my nail There we go, no one will ever know. Perfect. That is so cute. I don't know why that's the wrong way around. Because when you do that, it's going to come out backwards, isn't it? <laughs> so two shakes of a lamb's tail whilst I grab my other little gorgeous little machine here. Love this. Oh, oh that was the piece I just put down. Oh. Chop that down to three. Leaves me a little bit extra. Trees on, my little deer's on. Perfect. How cute! It's going to go on there. Different coloured uh, papers as well. So. So cute. Love it. How sweet. That's that paler. Um, let me show you now. That's the first one I bought. Do you know that really fine one? And then this one doesn't come up either, but it's got the two tone then in between. Gainer, put it up away. Perfect. So, just got to glue these down there. I think this is brilliant. I'm so glad I bought these.
one of our ladies in group is, is on holiday and she's taken her crafting stuff with her. So while she's sitting on the beach, she's got a little craft mat laid down. She said, and the cards she's making, she's going to leave behind for the the people whose caravan uh, cottage they're renting. How wonderful is that? Our oh, lovely Sarah. So there we go. You could add little gems. What have I got here? I could put a little red nose on the reindeer. These are tiny little dots. And you could always pop a little thingy on his nose. How sweet is that? Oh my goodness. I've got to do it on this one now. You could jot a few of these around in the tree as well. Yeah, you could put one at the top. I've got some little green ones as well. Let's put the red ones on the top. No stamping involved. Isn't that good? A beautiful card without having to put a stamp on anything. It's so sweet. Oh, that's so adorable. And then the next row down, I've got a couple of green ones. And then a red again. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. And I'll do the other ones later, but that, you get the gist, don't you? Oh, I love it. Mind you, go on, Gainey, while you're there. Just do one card, though, for now. That is so sweet. I will finish the others off before I take my photos. That's adorable, absolutely adorable. So sweet. Mega cute. I think that's enough. Oh, look at that. How cute is that? Love that. Love it, love it. No, I'm not going to add any more, but I will do exactly the same on there, what I've done there, before I take my photos. But there we go. I love it. I think it's mega. You could do these for kids' birthdays. I know I have a picture of them as they were growing up. You could even send them as uh, new baby cards and, uh, you know, take pictures of the baby in the hospital and then go home, print them off, put them inside and send it to the parents. You could do it with a wedding influence or an engagement influence. New Year's Eve. Christmas, birthdays, it's endless. I love it. I absolutely adore it. So, there is my uh, cube cards, I'm going to call them. Cube cards. How adorable. Look at that. So you can see the cube on the inside. I think that's brilliant. So, I'd love a thumbs up and a share. That would be amazing. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Press the bell get notifications because I do upload every single day and uh, so come and see what I make tomorrow I might surprise you thanks for watching bye